Hello everyone, my name is Tara Mistful and welcome back to my Star Stable Online Let's Play with Phoenix and Firebird. We're just here with Jasper. Last time I got the deed, um, the deed to Mullen Stables from Fort Pinter and we're about to go take it over to Thomas Mullen. We just need to talk to Jasper first. Okay, oh, there's two things here. Okay, all documents for Thomas. Well, what do you know? My frosty heart is now warm after 20 years in the cold. Young lady, I give you this title deed to Morland Stables. You have certainly earned it. Thomas will definitely be happy now. Oh, cool. We get some pants. I'm going to put those on instead of the, um, these pants that we have. I'm going to see what this one is. Young lady, would you possibly do an old, a grumpy old man a favor? Would, could you take these letters and this amulet that belong to Catherine, Justin's mother, and give them to him? Tell him that you've, tell him what you have done, and that I want to see him as soon as possible. It may not be much, but at least it's an attempt to start repairing twenty years of business. Yeah, twenty years is a long time. And a way for this old old fool to say sorry. I can't seem to read today. Oh, we get a different T-shirt. I forgot about that. Okay, let's let's go. And I feel like, yeah, I feel like she would wear the jeans. Ju uh, Justin Phoenix. I feel like Phoenix would wear the jeans that we receive. So I don't. I never remembered getting an amulet. Um, an amulet that belonged to Catherine. I can't remember if that's brought up later in the story. Maybe it will in future quests. I don't know. Like when Star Stable adds new quests, I'd like to know about more about this amulet that because it's not just a necklace. It's an amulet. So kind of sounds. Oops. Um. Pretty important. Okay, let's give this to Justin. Hey, Justin. Oh, Phoenix, you have no idea how happy this makes me. This feud has been going on for far too long. It's finally come to an end, all thanks to you. You'll always be a special friend to us here at Moreland Stables. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, let's have a look at this t-shirt. They seem to really like green here. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess we'll put it on for now. Um, can't sell this or anything. We'll just keep our starter gear there. I can put it in the wardrobe later. Um, oh, and while I'm here, I'm going to sell this jacket because I really don't like it. And I could use the shillings. Okay. Let's talk to Thomas. Oh, this girl looks so cool. I just noticed how cool this girl looks. Okay. Hi, Thomas. Holy horses, you saved the stables from demolition. Finally, I can prove that I'm the rightful owner of Moreland Stables and it's all thanks to you. I'll show this to the council and then Mr. Campbell will have no choice but to stop construction of the new buildings. I don't know how to thank you. I owe you more than I could ever repay you. Yay! Oh, and we just had Thomas added in. Okay. And we got the pants. Let's... Okay, I feel like... I mean, they aren't exactly her style, but I think Phoenix would definitely go for some jeans over, over these pants. Okay. I think I think she likes her clothes just slightly better now. Um, let's have a look in our journal. Is it this one? No, this one. Yes? Yes. I keep forgetting which one it is. At Thomas. Close this. Oh, wait. We already had Thomas. Oh, it's just added more to it. Um, okay, I think here is where... It, um, where the new stuff is added. It's hard to believe, but there is some bad blood in the Morland family. Thomas's late wife, Catherine, Catherine, died giving birth to their son. Ever since then, his father-in-law, Jasper Holbrook, I thought it was Holbrook, I don't know, has blamed Thomas and refused to speak. This family feud nearly cost Thomas ownership of the stables when GED attempted to use some slippery illegal tricks to steal it out from under him. Thankfully, Just uh, Jasper <laughs> came to his senses and forgave Thomas. I really can't seem to read today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, who do I want to talk to next? May has got a quest, Han's got a quest, but there's also Conrad has a quest, and there's a quest in Fort Pinter. I think I want to go to Fort Pinter um, and do the quest there. Can we use this trailer? Or is there only Star Riders able to use the trailer? It's only Star Riders, okay. Well, I guess. Okay, let's hop out of the trailer then. I am planning to get Star Rider on this account, but. Um, not just yet. I want to play through the 
level five part first and then we'll go get Star Rider. But let's go over to Fort Panther and do a quest over there and I guess introduce ourselves to the people of Fort Pinta. I like that we now have a, diff a slightly different outfit. It's still a very newbie outfit, but we have a very slightly different outfit um, for Phoenix to wear now. I'm excited for her to get some actual nice clothes that maybe have some stats and just in general look a bit cooler. Hey, Justin. Oh, hey. There's a quest over here now. Look at all these ponies. Look at all these ponies. You are so cute, except your mane looks kind of purpley. That's kind of, you kind of look like a fantasy horse, like a magical horse. It's an odd coat coloring. I guess we'll talk to this girl here because I kind of ignored her last time. Um, okay, Syndra. Hi there, you must be one of the new arrivals at Mullen Stables. I've been coming here for years, so if you have any questions about the area, just ask. I'm Syndra, by the way. It's a pleasure to meet you. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you too. Ride with Syndra to Fort Pinta. Sure, we can do that. I've been coming to Moreland Stables riding camp for so many years that if they had a punch card, by now I'd have earned a free horse. <laughs> I wish. There's no way Mr. Moreland would just give a horse away. Okay, um... Actually, Firebird on second thought. Well, I mean, he hasn't given us Firebird. We're just riding her for now. We don't yet fully own Firebird. Um, yeah, horses aren't cheap. It's okay. I've saved up to buy a horse of my very own. And besides, Mr. Mullen says he's run out of things to teach me here at the stables. Time to seek out new pastures. Go for it, Sandra. I just noticed she has quite an old model for the for a character. A lot of the characters are quite new. She's got quite an old um model for an NPC. Thanks. That's why I'm on my way to exotic Fort Pinta. Have you heard of the place? It's a seaside paradise with rich history and horses galore. They even have a disco. Once I get there, I plan to buy the horse I've always dreamed of. The only thing is, I sort of got lost. Um. Thought you were an expert on the area. I'll give you a lift. Hop on. I don't want to be rude. You'd do that for me? Thank you so much. Next stop, Fort Pinta. Okay, let's go. I mean, honestly, Phoenix isn't the biggest people person. She's quite introverted, but I feel like she's not just going to leave someone on the side of the road. You know, like, she's a decent human being. She isn't just going to leave someone on the side of the road like that when, you know, we have a horse and it's no big deal to give give Syndra here a lift. Um, and, you know, Phoenix is new to the area. She kind of wants to make friends, even if, you know, even the most injured, like, I'm incredibly introverted and I, I'm not a very social person, but everyone needs some friends, especially when you're new to the area. Okay, Syndra, let's go. Here we are at Fort Pinta. It actually just got updated last night. Um, oh, here we go. Captain Waterloo. Whoa, stop right there. Okay. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to get off your horse and come with me. Excuse me? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. You're in violation of statute 46B for the Fort Pinta Code of Horsemanship. Code of Horsemanship? What's that? Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Let's see now. That's 7,000 shillings for riding double in a single zone, 3,500 for speeding. Oh, Phoenix, this is all my fault. You only came here to help me. I'll pay the fines. Aha. Uh -huh. And 15,000 for attempting to transfer fines without authorization. They should really update this guy's um, model as well. He's very outdated. Oh dear, I'll do what I can, but... No buts. 4,000 shillings <laughs> fine for saying but. <laughs> I feel like this is so what Phoenix would say. But. <laughs> Don't test me. I'll test you if I want to test you. I can tell I'm dealing with a couple of real troublemakers. You need to report to the Minister of Tourism at once. He'll know how to deal with you lot. 
<laughs> okay. Is this where we meet James? Okay, come on, Syndra. Don't worry, Phoenix isn't gonna let anyone push her around. I'm very slowly developing Phoenix's character. <laughs> Very slowly, I'm still not quite... Wait, wait, has that thing always been there? What is that? What's this? What? Oh, I think this was added recently. I think this is the... Or is this a donation box? Who left their phone here? I thought it was like a vending machine that was mentioned in the newest quest, but... I think it's just a donation box. I don't know. Okay. Let's talk to James. The, the Dread Minister of Tourism. The Minister of Tourism? You're looking at him. It's me, James Cloudmill. Okay. I, only on Jorvik can you have someone this young, like, running the stables. So, what brings you to the Minister of Tourism? I'm a busy man, you know. You're a boy. You're no man, you're a child. These lawbreakers are in numerous violations of Fort Pinter's rules and regulations. Is that so? <laughs> Aren't you a bit young for a minister of anything? Yeah, that's so what she would say. James was appointed by our fair town's beloved Mayor Peanut. You wouldn't dare question the mayor, would you? Dude, I've got this. Go keep an eye on the disco or something. Sorry, Minister. Of course, Minister. You don't have to take orders from this kid, you know. So, let me guess. Captain Waterloo over there picked you up on some silly offence. This is a trick, isn't it? Trick? Do I look like a joker to you? Wait, don't blame Phoenix. I'll cover the fines. From what the security guard said, I should owe 29,500 shillings. That is insane. He left off the notarizing fee, so we'll just call it an even 50,000. You need to be put in your place. Hey, don't look at me like that. It's the mayor's rules. I'm just a humble civil servant sworn to uphold them. No, I was hoping to buy a new horse with these savings, but... So you like horses, eh? Then I got, then I have just the job for you two. There's a boatload of tourists docking in 15 minutes and all my rental horses are out to pasture. If those tourists show up and the horses aren't ready, it will totally ruin their vacations. I mean, that sounds kind of like a you problem. You should have planned better. That's so sad. How can we help? Oh, Sindri, you're so nice. <laughs> the two of you are going to fetch them for me. I'll even let you ride one back, Sindra. <laughs> Yippee! Oh, Sindra. I like to let my horses relax close to Ferdinand's horse market. Okay, technically they're inside Ferdinand's horse market. Trust me, he and I have an arrangement. My horses are good for his business, so he loves to keep them around. Just get the horses, and if Ferdinand or Eddie say anything, tell them James sent you. Got it? Collect horses? This is the job I was born to do. Yeah, he, I don't think he's going to pay you, Syndra. Fine, but this seems fishy. Bring those horses back here ASAP, and maybe I can talk to the mayor about reducing your fines. Oh, dude. Yeah, Phoenix isn't going to just take any of this lying down. Like... <laughs> This is an injustice, and as kind of introverted and, I don't want to say antisocial, but not very social as Phoenix is, she isn't just going to let an injustice like this slide. Like, no. She's not just going to roll over and let this happen. She's going to say something. Yeah. Okay, come on, Syndra. You're, she's too nice. <laughs> Honestly. Come on. I kind of see a lot of a lot of myself in Phoenix to be honest. Um she's kind of like the the darker side of me. <laughs> kind of the darker a little bit more um a little got a bit more attitude side of me that I don't usually show on my channel. So 
That's interesting. This is the place. Are you ready to take the horses back to James? Sure. Oh, I can hear the fridge door sound. It's funny, I've been here so many times and always assumed these horses belonged to Ferdinand's market. Who would have guessed he was borrowing them from James? Yeah. Something tells me James is the one doing the borrowing. Really? But he seems so sincere. Oh my goodness, Syndra. I'm sorry, but you're just a little bit gullible. Hold it right there. What are you doing with those horses? Do you know a shady guy named James Cloudmill? Oh, Phoenix, I love you. James, of course I know him. Great kid. I pay him to give my horses exercise. I presume that's why you're here. Go ahead, then. Take the horses. Can't have them cooped up in the market all day, now can I? I knew we could trust James. Sindra, did you not just hear what he said? Let's get these horses back to Fort Pinter before the tourists arrive. I mean, he just confirmed that these horses aren't James's and that James lied to us. And you still think we can trust him? Okay, let's sort of go in a bit of a circle motion. Syndra, you want to kind of like help me herd these horses? Or we're we just going to have to do it on our own. They're very pretty horses. Come on, little pony. Is that little Connemara? I think. Oh, you, why aren't you moving? Go on. Oh, can you guys move any faster? Oh, what? <laughs> okay, I mean, yeah, okay. Some weird things going on in Jorvik today. This is a cute pony. Does it not have a face? Hold on, does this pony not have a face? Okay, it does have a face. It just looked weird. Okay, come on, you two. No horses left behind. Come on. Um, pony, don't go into the... Oh my gosh, you were so close to the water's edge. Be careful, pony. Okay, come on, everyone. Let's go. Yeah, that's it. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. Let's go. Don't... Yeah, don't run into the jumps here, please. That, that's not a good idea. Okay, we're finally here. I completely forgot I was recording and I was just like, I'm going to continue on with the quest. Okay, so all the horses look like they're here. Let's talk to James. I love your curly. I still don't know what color curly I'm going to get on my Tyra account. Okay. Tour horse escort. Good timing. The tourists are almost here. Congratulations, friends. You saved their vacations. Yeah. Mare Peanut. So, about the fines you owe me. Oh no. No. You are- we are not. I'm happy to knock off a few hundred shillings from your fines. Of course, when you add the rental fee for Syndra riding the horseback. Dude, don't even test me. Rental fee? But I thought, why is Phoenix standing behind Firebird like that? Syndra, Syndra, these are rental horses. You ride one, you have to pay my fair rates. I'm sorry, no exceptions. That puts your bill at 92,871 shillings. I can't pay that. Surely there's something you you can do to lower the fines. Please, Mr. Cloudmill. He's a child. You don't have to call him Mr. Cloudmill. Come on, Syndra. Stand up for yourself. Hmm, I suppose you'll just have to work for me until you've paid off what you owe. We have a stable that needs tending to and a race that needs an organiser. If you work for, let's see, 47 years? Yeah, that should be enough to cover your fees. No, this is awful. 
<laughs> You're a fraud, James Cloudmill. You said it, Phoenix. Fraud? What? You can't talk to me like that. I'm the Minister of Tourism. The mayor put me in charge. Then I'll give this mayor a piece of my mind. <laughs> See the mayor? Fine. But I'm warning you, he's no one to be trifled with. Ten minutes later. Sorry about my budgies chirping. They're in a different room. They're just loud. Make way for Fort Pinter's pride and joy. Mayor Peanut! Oh my goodness, Mayor Peanut, you are fabulous. The mayor is a pony? Indeed I am. A talking pony? Oh, Sintra. What? Okay. <laughs> Let's quickly follow up with Mayor Peanut. Mayor Peanut, you were so cute. Oh my goodness. James, tell me you and your friend owe 72,871 shillings. I demand payment. Yeah, I'm not going to be bossed around by you, little pony. Uh, it's not going to happen. <laughs> okay, I'm going to end this episode here. But next time, we're going to follow up with Mayor Peanut. And I feel like Phoenix is going to set him straight. <laughs> Poor Mayor Peanut. Um, you're such a sweet pony. Look how cute he is. <laughs> with his little hat. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!